All right, so I wanna start with a pretty simple productivity tip. This is a one-star tip, very basic, very easy to do. And it's about customizing your workbook footer stats. So the Excel footer bar, which lives right beneath the sheets or tabs, typically shows some basic metrics like sum, average, and count of a selected range of values. You know, so maybe you've got a workbook like this with some weather data, you've got conditions, temperature, wind speed. If you were to select column C, you'll see that footer bar right beneath those worksheet tabs show some of those basic metrics like the average, the count, and the sum. And this is pretty helpful for just very quick spot checks to kind of calculate those metrics without having to actually write some average count or count A functions. Now, what I didn't realize for a long time is that you can actually right click that footer bar to access additional options like this. Um, so that allows you to not only activate additional stats like the numerical count, the max or the min, but also activate or enable other types of notifications. So if you're using a flash fill tool, which we'll cover in another tip, you can show the results of your flash fill. You can indicate if you've got caps lock, number lock, or scroll lock enabled. And one of the most common ones is showing when a macro is in recording mode if you're using VBA. So the ones we're gonna look at here are these six down at the bottom. And all you need to do is check the box and it will add them to your footer bar. So that instead of just the basic three, you can also show numerical count, min, and max. So common use cases here, uh, like I said, quickly generating some of these summary statistics without using a single formula. And another common one is adding that status indicator that displays while your macros are in recording mode. So with that, let's head to our pro tips workbook and let's actually practice this in Excel. All right, so once you've opened up your Excel Pro Tips file, go ahead and navigate to the first blue tab, Custom Footer Stats. Now remember, anytime you're having trouble navigating to a particular demo or tab, you can always go back to the first one, Table of Contents, find the lecture and link straight to it. So here we are, we've got the weather data that I mentioned earlier, we've got a year's worth of data from 2016, and this is captured from the Boston, Massachusetts weather station where I'm located. I've got conditions, temperatures in Fahrenheit, wind speed in miles per hour, and precipitation in inches. Now, if I wanted to learn more about average daily temperatures, for instance, I could write functions like count A, count, max, min, average, or sum, or I could simply select the entire column and take a look down here at my footer bar. So you can see the average temperature uh, for all days was 53.14 degrees Fahrenheit, I've got a count of values as 366, which you might notice is counting the header row as well, so text or numbers. And I've got the sum, which doesn't really make sense when I'm looking at temperature values. But if I right click this footer, here's that menu I talked about earlier. And I've got these additional stats that I can activate by simply clicking on each of them. So I wanna add a numerical count, a minimum and a maximum, and there you go. Now I'm showing all six of those summary stats right here in the footer. And so you'll notice that my original count, 366, now shows, in addition to that, a numerical count of 365, which excludes that text header row. Got a minimum temperature of zero and a max of 86 degrees Fahrenheit. So there you go, really quick way to do some very basic data analysis without using pivot tables, filtering, sorting, or writing functions customizing the Excel footer bar.